Almost every emotion we can think of comes with a facial expression. And just as we're good at expressing these emotions, we're good at reading them too. But what if emotion could be understood by artificial intelligence as well? I think AI is getting better and better, more and more refined. Right now, when you look at the, uh, the technology around you know, gesture recognition, facial recognition, sentiment analysis, that type of thing, it, it's really picking up, I think, you know, many, many emotions. Artificial intelligence decodes official muscle articulations in your face, and it also detects the color changes in your face. And that's what humans use to learn to communicate with other people non-verbally. We will use emotional AI not just to interact with our customers better, but to interact with our colleagues better, with our bosses better. It's going to be a full spectrum way of engaging with human beings. The ability to assemble and then analyze, you know, huge volumes of data is a great example, I think, in healthcare around rapid diagnosis and potential variety of treatment options. Medical applications are absolutely the future and we can make use of them. And doctors are gonna use them to diagnose certain psychopathologies or certain diseases. We have facial recognition, we have the acoustic technologies, we have the haptic technologies, we can do eye tracking. We're talking about huge volumes of data and put to very sensitive use in, in a certain respect. And the, the ethical norms and the ethical parameters that are applied uh, become absolutely critical. What we're going to be seeing is a convergence of traditional information conveyance with value-added affective and emotional data conveyance. And those things combined are going to be more powerful than those things separate. Automation is gonna free us up from doing many of the tasks that we do now, allowing us to do other things that are much more important and pressing to solve today's problems. Mankind, womankind is meant to progress, so let's look at an augmentation strategy as opposed to a replacement strategy. And I think, you know, we will all be for the better.